may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Poyer versus Poyer. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we have the case of Poyer versus Poyer. Ms. Poyer, you have brought your son to court today and you are suing him for $5,000 in unpaid rent and utility bills. You say in your statement that you feel it is time for him to start acting like a man before he becomes a father. You are here today to make him face his responsibilities as an adult. Mr. Poyer, you argue that your mother bullied you, treated you like a maid, talked down to you, and then, when you finally fought back, you ended up having to move out of your family home. You say you are ready for fatherhood, but feel you need to resolve the bad blood between the two of you before you can move on with your own life. Ms. Poyer, what led to you kicking your son out of the house? My son, he's lazy. I feel that he's lazy, okay? I'm your mother. I try to do the best that I can for you. Um, you cannot just want to lay around, not want to do anything, not want to help me, you know, take care of the household or help me pay any bills. You cannot talk to me like I'm one of your friends in the street. I hear what she's saying as far as it's not what you say, it's how you say it, but she's the total last person that should even be saying something like that because the way she speaks to me all the time is just really contradicting to that statement. Like, she talks down to me, she yells, she talks to me with sarcasm, you know what I'm saying? And then she comes at me with this, I'm lazy, but you're the same person who'll get off the train on your way home and walk past five stores and come upstairs and go, you go to the store and buy me a soda and a bag of chips. Didn't you just walk past the store? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't get it. I, I, I don't... Like, in my brain, it doesn't add up, but I'm the lazy one. I'm the lazy one, but you don't want to do anything. You want me to cook all the meals. You want me to clean the house constantly by myself. You don't want to help me do that. Excuse me. When I get home at 7 or 8 o'clock at night time, you get cooked, you get clean. Okay, yes, I know my attitude. It's, 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 it's challenging. Here. It's challenging, yes. <laughs> I'll say that. Yes, you know, but I had to do this by myself. By myself. I was mom and I was dad. When you were living with her, were you contributing to Honestly, the best of I your ability? I felt that I was. I did exactly what I told her I was gonna do. I would give you $50 out of my check every week because I'm only making $150 a week. So when my seasonal job ended, so did my income. You understand what I'm saying? So you feel like she's unnecessarily hard on you. Right. But it became less of, we're gonna do this together to more of you do, you do, you do, you do, and I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna sit back. And it got to a point where I started to feel away about certain little things, such as I'm at home and I'm watching television and you walk in the house, and now you don't wanna watch what I'm watching, so I have to stop everything I'm doing and focus on what you wanna watch on television. Yeah, you do! Yeah, How is that you. fair? Yeah, you thank do! You. How is that fair? Thank you. Yeah, you do! I, 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 I'm gonna make a ruling right now. When your mother works all day, and you've been at home watching TV, when your mother comes home, if she wants to see something on television in her house that she works to pay for, that remote goes to her hand and she watches what she wants to watch. <laughs> Ruling is in. <laughs> this court is about teaching men to be better fathers, men to be better men, and for cycles to be broken. Meaning, you want to prepare him to be a man. You feeling like he's just not doing his best. Tell me what, okay, your, what listen, your fears are. I don't want Ryan to keep making some of the same, same mistakes that I made. Okay, I got high. I ran the street. But there comes a point in your life when it's time to say enough is enough. What is he doing wrong? I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I get up at 5 o'clock, being out at 10 o'clock. No, you want to come in here ringing my doorbell 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. That's disrespectful. I get, what, two hours sleep? Mm -hmm. But that's the goal. The goal to try to provide for us to have somewhere to stay, mm -hmm. a stable home. Her mentality when I speak to her about it is, well, I'm your mother and this is how it is and there's nothing you can do about it. That's I'm not 24 true. years old That's and I'm true. holding down a job and I'm giving you what I can't afford to give you. I don't have a key to this apartment where I'm staying at, but I'm giving you money so I can stay there. At 24, I should have a key. You two definitely are having issues communicating, to say the least. Now, maybe this is because you two have not spoken or seen one another in almost three years because of this dispute? Yes, ma'am. 
three years? Miss mm -hmm. Poirier, you look emotional. I love my son. I love my son to death. All I want is for my child just to grow up, grow up. But then it was time to come in here. Mom, I didn't get paid this, that, and the other. But yet still, you going in there to find your little roll up and your little to do your business. Mm hmm. Come All right, on. so this brings us to the specifics of your suit. You say he did not contribute. You say you have cable bills. I have cable bill. I have rent. Rent. Did you bring that to the court today? Yes, ma'am, I did. Jerome, will you hand me that proof from Ms. Poyer? So now, Ms. Poyer, I need you to tell the court specifically what you're suing for. Okay, I'm suing him for five thousand dollars because that's all I can sue him for. But actually, Your Honor, it's like eight thousand three hundred fifty-seven dollars and twenty-eight cents. How did you get to this number? Well, my rent, Your Honor, is twelve hundred dollars okay. a month. The cable bill. It's like 159. So within a year, the rent is like 7,000 and some change, and the cable bill is 1,000. So that adds up to 8,357.28. Never agreed to pay half of anything. For ever. the amount of time that he lived ever. with you. He lived with me like four years and a half before he had to go. Mr. Poor, you're shaking your head no. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did you agree to give her $50 a week or did you agree to give her $50 a week when you could afford to? When I could afford to. It's not $50 when I can afford to. I can't tell her, the rent man, I'm only going to give you $600. Yeah, but you also put your name afford. on paper for the rent man. Right. You signed a contract with the rent man. I didn't sign a contract with you. I'm only going to give you $100 because this is what I can afford. And again. Because I only make this amount of money every And you way. sign a lease when you do that that says my rent is so it forth and so matter. forth and I'm going to give you, you so forth and so forth. I never did that with you. So when he was working, Working this job, he was to give you fifty dollars a week. A week. How long did he work this job? Two and a half weeks. <laughs> did you, you just say two and a half weeks? You don't get a seasonal job for two and a half weeks. When you work at a store for a season, that season is always two months and longer. I don't know where she got this two and a half weeks from. If you can find me a job that's going to hire me so, in a store for two and a half weeks, How long did you know. work this job where you were supposed to pay her $50 a week? I was at this job for, for almost three months before the season ended. So almost three, so you were with almost three months, yes, which is 12 weeks. Yes, ma'am. And how much of that did he pay during this time? Maybe $200. Is that, is that about how much you paid her, Mr. Poyer? I would say it was a little more than that, but I would say, in honesty, it'd probably be more around, like, 300 350 honestly. Ms. Poyer, you have a witness. I just want to briefly hear from you. Good morning, Judge Good Lauren. morning. What's I'm your name? Natasha. I'm Rosalind's sister, and yes. I'm Ryan's fine. Yes. Um, my main concern, uh, the reason why I'm here, is because he's going out smoking marijuana. He's... Jumping turnstiles, getting arrested. Stupid stuff like that. The worst thing I've ever done was smoke weed and hop a turnstile when I was 17. Leave it alone. Let it die already. Okay. Let it die. I don't I'm... understand. Uh, Your Honor, I'm glad that he said that. Okay, smoking marijuana, that doesn't go out of your system right away. So how are you going to get a job if your system is dirty? That's, That's a good number question, one. Mr. Poyer. Every job in the world doesn't require a drug test, Your Honor. So you're looking for those? Every, I, I've, I've had numerous ones of them. And then who's gonna hire him? Because once they do a background check, you only work in two weeks. Yeah, or you oh. just you just got arrested for jumping the turnstile. Okay, you both serious. feel that Again. his girlfriend, his current girlfriend, is a bad influence. Jerome, will you please escort her into the courtroom? Sure. You both feel that his girlfriend, his current girlfriend, is a bad influence. Jerome, will you please escort her into the courtroom? Yana, may I say something? Yes, you may. Okay. Ryan was never a bad kid. Mm -hmm. Him and his, Ryan and, and Rosalind used to be very close. Mm -hmm. He used to be up under Rosalind. She spoiled him to death. I don't know where his misbehaving came from. Then one day he comes to my house and his girlfriend's with him. Who is this? Okay. Where does she come from? And that would be Ms. Luciana. Margaret. 
Yes. Ms. Luciano. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming no today. Problem. You felt that this bad behavior was a result maybe of bad it influence. Making sense. Yes, because she comes, yeah, she has insane. black nail polish on, piercing. And that black nail polish was sure enough make you act yes, out. Yes, that's not how you make it. <laughs> Black dress gothic. Where what you work in a cemetery? Like <laughs> who is this? We started putting two and two together. He has tattoos, she has tattoos. They have piercing, she has piercing. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, Miss Luciana? What is going on? I, I want you to tell me. I sport. disagree with everything that's going on right tell here. Me, First what? of all, we both have a job. We work at the same place. We, oh, you do where? have a job. We have, yes, yes, tell yeah, me where. I work I at a marketing Show research. me a pay stub. I have many of pay stubs. Where's your W-2? Oh, I got my W-2. I, I, I don't even need to be up here. She just turned into the <laughs> Marketing research in the in the borough that we live in, okay. and we we both we pay rent together. Okay. We both clean. We cook. He's not. He goes. Do you he, ever I, take it to Cato? I have a do yes, you have a yes I do. And Chase, you want to? We could go to Chase, and I'll show you my my, okay. my account. Okay. And what do you make a week? I make about one hundred fifty dollars a week. One hundred and fifty dollars a week. I have a question. Okay. Now, y'all make one hundred and fifty dollars a week. From what I gather, you live with your mother. Yes. You pay your mother? Yes. He pays your mother? Yes. Oh! So why he can't pay her? Did you just say to this court that you're working and you are paying her mother I am paying a right steady now. amount of I money? I have a steady job now, so I can afford to a pay steady, a steady uh, amount no, no, of money. No, 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 no. Because you stated to this court when you worked for almost three months, which is 12 weeks, that you only paid, in your estimation, $300. So that means you didn't pay her for the amount of weeks you owed her for when you were working, period. But the situation I'm in now is totally different compared to that. Like, she's not telling y'all that at a point she put me on the street, physically on the street. Get out of my house. I don't care where you live. I don't care where you sleep. I don't care what you eat. Okay, period. you should have been put period. out. Period. You should have been but put now out. she's worried about what's going on with me. How can you be worried about somebody that you put in a negative situation? No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you them. that. I'm going to explain it to you right now because obviously you can't accept it from your mother. You're a grown man living like a kid. You should have been out a long time ago. You couldn't, you wouldn't have been able to live in my house growing up if you didn't keep a steady job. Now, what is very interesting to this court, and I see to your family as well, when you leave the nest, suddenly you begin to live up to your potential. You get a job. You begin to get money paid regularly. You have a checking account. Well, what your mother is saying is, why couldn't you do that for me? to help me. That's it. And you're doing what you should be doing. And mom, for that, you have to at least say, this is a good thing. I know you may feel slighted, but you would feel even worse if your son was over at this woman's mother's house laying up on the TV talking about, I hope she don't come in and ask me to turn a channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes, be honest. Yes. yes, you're right. OK? You're absolutely right. Yes, I give him, I give him all his props for doing what he needs to do. But right now, my thing is to, may I, may I? Yes. You need to make a foundation to bring children into this world. Because the more that you live with somebody else, the harder you're going to struggle. And that's fine, and I understand that. You're going but to... In the time that you haven't spoke to me, and in the time that I felt like, you know what, I got put in a situation where I'm on the street, literally physically sleeping on the street and worrying about where I was going to eat, where I was going to shower, that's when I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this because I need to do this. And you know what, when I decided I got this job and this job hired me and I've been working here for almost a year now, I said to myself, you know, I'm proud of myself because I'm doing something that I never did before. And it's really messed up. My mom is not here to be a part of this. And it's really messed up. I feel the way I feel towards my mom for everything that's been going on. But I still love you. If, if I disrespected you, I, I apologize. You know what? I'm not even going to offer an explanation. I would be the woman and say, I apologize. <laughs> so 
all I want. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. Mr. Wanted. Poyer, Ms. Poyer, what I understand from you, Ms. Poyer, is that you were doing the best you could by him. And, Mr. Poyer, she wants you to be a man, and I think right now she's seeing today that you are becoming that man. You gotta give her credit and say, this is what my mom was telling me I could do. <laughs> give her that credit. <laughs> so, with that said, Ms. Poyer, I have to ask you at this point that you see that he is starting to turn his life around. I will offer you the option of dropping your suit against your son, or if you'd like to continue with it, I will rule on it. I still want him to pay. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. I will offer you the option of dropping your suit against your son, or if you'd like to continue with it, I will rule on it. I still want him to pay, but you know what? To push you out the nest for you to find your wings, at the end of the day, I did my job. Yes, yes, Hello. you did, Miss Boyer. You did. And I love you. Love you too. I love you. I love you. I love you. I miss laughing with you. I miss crying with you when you need to cry. I miss holding you. You know how I used to play with your ear? I miss all of that. And <laughs> hey, remember, remember, I want you to do something. May I, may I hug him, please? You absolutely can. Do you remember that? <laughs> I love you so much. This is what I most remember. <laughs> Give me some nose. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! So, Miss Poyer, with that said, what is your decision? I'll let this one ride. I thought so. I I'll do the honors for you. Thank you. Court is adjourned. <laughs> I want to fix this because I want my son back my baby. Oh, and I personally think Judge Lake helped me because she made me realize I can have my mom and my wife at the same time. <laughs>